little bit more frightening. It is lot 2006. In this case, it's a 1958 Plymouth Fury from the movie Christine. Let's, let's keep in mind the actual original Fury was only available in cream with gold erudite side trim. Stephen King feared that a cream colored car wasn't that demonic or scary, so in his book he called it red, and that's what we have here. So these are actually cream. Now, this is the final year for the Fury as a standalone high performance model. And we see here the small block, or sorry, the, the 3D3 cubic inch Mopar Wedge V8. It's not an original Fury motor, this is an aluminum Offenhauser intake, but hey, it does the job at the right air cleaners and uh, what a nasty very beautiful piece in Stephen King's novel, Christine is a car that comes to life and pretty much takes over the lives of several people in the small town. And John Carpenter's movie, very faithful to the book, and good bit of special effects. And this was one of the star cars. It was given away in a sweepstakes by the studio. Uh, very, very well and highly publicized. And all of that documentation continues and goes with the car. I would think of the three movie and TV cars from the Ron Pratt collection in this Rubric, this, I think, would be the most valuable. He's also got one of the most interesting stories. First off, here's the question. Are you brave enough to buy it? Is, there, is it haunted in any way? You know, the other interesting story is Stephen King said he chose this car because he specifically wanted a model he thought had been forgotten. He didn't want a car that everybody knew about very well. He wanted something off the beaten trail so he could kind of create that persona for it. I got you, Rick. Like an Eldorado or something, something obvious. This is a great choice. In fact, it, it, I think it reinvigorated interest in these extra era Mopars, the big fin cars, who certainly had a role to play in people paying attention to them once again. The front end of that car, it just has a face. You just picture Christine up there on the front end of that. Those two headlights and the massive grill and those, those fenders on the back of a great look. It just really has a personality. Stephen King, a master of horror and suspense and a true car guy. He's made of fame. sells for $180,000. Well, if these first three cars are an indication, you better strap on because it's going to be quite